Morning monkeys, John from Arch Monkey, how are you doing? Bank holiday Monday. Right, this is from the Derbyshire Life. Thanks to them for this. And it is dated 22nd of April 2021. Derbyshire police officer sacked over domestic abuse case. PC Darian Fern failed to take statements over the incident and then misled a supervising officer. A police constable has been sacked over his handling of a domestic abuse incident which saw him fail to arrest those involved and then mislead a superior officer. PC Darian Fern of Derbyshire Police should have taken statements from two people involved in an incident during which a woman threatened a man with a knife after he seriously assaulted her. Instead, despite evidence of criminal behaviour, he left the pair with words of advice and failed to mention important details when logging the outcome of the incident. He then went on to mislead a supervising officer who queried the outcome of the incident when trying to explain why no further action had been taken against either of the people involved. When the truth became known, the 47-year-old was charged with failing to perform his duties expeditiously and diligently and providing false and or misleading information to a superior officer. It was claimed by doing this he had breached the standards of professional behaviour for honesty and integrity. Two words that don't go down very well with a lot of the police force, by the way. Duties and responsibilities are contrary to the Police Conduct Regulations 2020, something that amounted to gross misconduct. He admitted to these charges at a three-day misconduct hearing beginning on Monday, April 12th, but argued he had no intention to del deliberately mislead the supervising officer when given his recollection of what happened. However, the panel found the allegations to be proven and that his response had been dishonest and or deliberately misleading and dismissed him from the force so there you go another one oh well there's some more the original incident took place in may 2020 after police received reports of a woman was threatening a man with a knife in derby upon arrival the officer was told by the woman known as h that her partner had seriously assaulted her by kicking, hitting and holding her to the ground by the throat. Meanwhile, the man, referred to as R, admitted he grabbed her but claimed she had then threatened him with a knife, refusing to let it go. Colin Sellers, for solicitor for Derbyshire Police, told the hearing, PC Fern accepts his actions amount to gross misconduct, which is something that can lead to his instant dismissal from the force. She said, in the domestic incident which took place on May 20th last year, both the people involved had given admissions to the constable at the scene. H said, officers arrived, he's the one hitting me and I've had enough. He hit me first, he held me to the ground, Mrs Sellers said. She said H claimed R and held her by the throat and kicked her and that she had taken the knife to defend herself. Mrs Sellers said, PC Fern then spoke to R who grabbed who said, I grabbed her, I must admit, it's not right, I know, but she got a knife out of the cupboard and threatened me with it. PC Fern had failed to take a witness statement from either party to arrest either party or to record either of the allegations they had made, Mrs Sellers said. Both parties were advised H had remained at the address overnight, R had gone to stay with a friend. Two and a half hours after this, it was he was queried by a supervising officer, why his report made no reference to a knife when the initial phone call had said there was one involved. He then misled the officer by telling them no offences had been revealed during the incident. He went on to ask questions about alleged use of knife, Mrs Sellers said. She added, he said the woman had grabbed the knife instinctively, not made any threats and dropped it, something which neither person involved had claimed. Giving evidence in his defence, PC Fern said he did not know how he had misremembered the events from less than three hours before when speaking to his supervisor. At the time, I believed I was right, but on reflection, while I was trying to say it, there were no complaints from either party as opposed to no offences. It would not benefit me in any way, shape or form to lie. The constable who choked back tears at times, oh bless, during the hearing, said he had been low on confidence at the time after struggling to bed in after being moved to Derby from his previous beat in Ashbourne seven years before. Little love. Well, sorry, but you are dismissed. 
Okay, folks, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about PC Fern down below. You usually do. Usually leave some nice remarks and comments. And we'll catch you later on. Stay safe, folks.